ready to meet you. Here, here. And here I am in Denver at my very first Empower Network event. I'm so excited. I've met Christina Mooners. That's correct. Yes. And she is from Australia. Very successful in Empower Network. But I think what has captured me so much about Christina, all the help that she gives me, but she literally built her business in Empower Network because at the time was disabled and laid on her tummy, on her back, and had this really cook barrel. Yeah, yeah. Her a little bit. <laughs> Christina, I'm going to ask you, what advice do you give people that you could give to people that have excuses? Okay. Okay. Like, I, I believe when anything sort of challenging happens to you or you experience some sort of adversity, that makes you think that's a reason why you can't do something. Okay, It keeps you stuck in the same place. Nothing's going to change while you remain a victim and while you, you know, continue having a self-pity party. And I can only say that because I've been there. I've done the same thing myself. Okay, So you've got to find a way to turn your excuse into your reason to change, into your reason to be successful. So that's basically what I did and yes, what helped me snap out of my self-pity party, you know, sort of what helped me turn my excuse into my reason was a, a bit of a magical visit from a kookaburra that let me pat him and he kept arriving and hung around for about a month and you know, it was rather amazing and that helped me not give up and helped me realise, you know, you know, I can find a way to support my family again and, you know, discovered the Empower Network and used that as my vehicle to build my business and um, you just can't accept your own excuses. Make it your reason to be successful because, you know, the reality is it doesn't matter what you say, I don't care if you're, you're disabled or you've suffered from chronic pain like I have for years or manage any sort of condition or whatever, there is someone who's been in your situation that's been able to overcome it and don't believe anybody that tells you that you can't overcome it. I was told by a surgeon that I was going to be in 24-7 nerve pain and housebound and, you know, virtually bedridden for the rest of my life that that was going to be as good as we're going to get. And that was not true. If I had believed him and stopped getting other opinions and stopped trying everything I could to find a solution, I'd still be on a mattress on the floor. I'd still be working with my laptop to table in bed. So instead, you know, I continued to try everything, even though they didn't work, until finally I had a procedure that did work and went through rehab and now here I am here. So yeah, yeah anything is possible. So never, never lose hope. <laughs> Reach out for help and turn your excuse into your reason to make whatever you want happen to you can. And found no one special. How is that for a gold nugget? I mean, thank you so much, Christina. And, and I believe that with all my girls. Also. So if you want to get involved in what we're involved in, with the link below, um, sign up. You will be so impressed. We're a family. Yep. She's Australia. I have 6,000 people here. It's insane. <laughs> Incredible. See, see you on the beaches. Okay. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bye.